Are you having issues with Starlink not working? Yes, I am. Do you feel like you need to troubleshoot your Starlink internet connection so you finally get the speed and reliability you expect from it? Obviously. We recently installed a Starlink for RV on the top of our office building in Philadelphia, and we've dealt with our own Starlink troubleshooting sessions. Here's what we learned from our experience in fixing slow and unreliable if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, tap the bell so you get notified when we post more Starlink videos and connectivity how-tos. First of all, make sure you set up your Starlink dish as instructed in the official documentation. One frequent mistake is setting up the dish in a spot where it doesn't get satellite network visibility. Make sure your dish is unobstructed. Make sure you're in a location that's officially covered by Starlink. Also, make sure your Starlink cable isn't severely bent or damaged. Now, let's address the Starlink disconnection issues we're all getting. If you aren't getting good results troubleshooting and trying different positions for the dish, a solution that may just work is to use your Starlink together with a second internet connection at the same time. You can use Speedify to combine your Starlink connection together with an already existing cable or DSL connection or even a tethered phone connection. Check out the video linked above and in the description. Speedify is the only app that lets you combine your Starlink with multiple internet sources into one bonded super connection for better speed, security, and reliability. To wrap it up, fixing your Starlink internet connection is very simple. Use Speedify together with a secondary internet source and forget about all the wasted hours troubleshooting. Thanks for watching. Need more tips and tricks about using Starlink effectively? Check out the videos and playlists on our channel and make sure you subscribe. Tap that notification bell.